Hi, my name is Rex Beeland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. We're going to do a doorway scene, a very popular subject matter. First to introduce my colors, I'm using a triadic color scheme, three colors, cad uh, yellow light, cad red light, and ultramarine blue. But because there's some uh, uh, foliage in this, I'm also adding a green, a permanent green light. So the first thing I'm going to do is to kind of identify the areas that are white and this will make the whole thing a lot more understandable. And I'm going to go with a light, this isn't really a first wash again, it's, I'm looking at it more or less as tinted water. And the purpose of this is just so I can identify the white areas. Just a little bit stronger than that. And I have a few white specs over here that I'm going to try and keep. We'll see how that goes. And because I've, there's so many little spaces and shapes, I've taken my time. I just want to go over a lot of it again to make sure it is wet. And just make sure everything is, particularly the areas where I started, just make sure everything is very wet. This again is just toned water so now I can clearly see my whites. And now I want to come in and start laying in my first wash of color. And it's just going to be light value. And I can't do detail, so I'm not going to try. My center of interest is going to be around this door, so I want that to be quite prominent. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to lift some off with my uh, paper towel. I'm going to have a little bit more to the uh, orangey yellow side. Not worried about specific shapes or detail at this point. Again, a little blue to neutralize it as it gets towards the edge. Now yeah, that's coming along. This just gonna have this little uh, shape beside what will be a window, a bit more to the yellow side, a bit more of that up there, and at the bottom of this doorway, and get my first lay in of some really light green. And then I'll come in with, even at this early stage, I'll come in with a darker version of the green. A little bit of the red to it. Some of these, I want to create the illusion of stonework without actually drawing every brick in. So if I have some shapes that kind of have uh, straight edges and corners and that it will read hopefully as um, brickwork and this is going to be the reflections of leaves okay and uh, I think this window is eventually going to be very uh, red so I'll throw some in now in this first stage And the uh, the um, the glass is going to be darker, so it'll go right over that. There's various pots around the place. I 
I've just dried this off and uh, I've now basically established uh, my pitcher. The same colors. I'm just going to come in with darker values. So I'm just establishing a little more of the, uh, the value range. And this one up here, I need to go in to create something that's darker. So if I just take the green and the yellow, particularly this green and this yellow, I get a very, very bright, far too bright green. So I need to add some red to it to tone it down. And a little bit more of lighter green in there. And then I want to, because the flowers, I want to be a really very, very bright red statement. So I'm getting cad red light, very little water. And you can see right away, because they're complementary colors side by side, they really do vibrate there. That's it. That's going to be a strong pull to the eye. And I want to tone them down a little bit for the ones that are out here towards the edge. Um, and I might as well, since I've got this green happening, have more of the dark green up in this. Uh, so I'm just trying to think of generalized leaf shapes. I'm going to just soften that, just, just taking pure water. This area down here is, is a very bright section. Um, some virtually pure green in there. Start off with the neutralized green over here. Again, this area down there is sort of my and for leaf shapes, I'm, I'm trying to, because uh, I don't want to get into real detail and try and draw individual leaves, I'm just trying to use my brush and have it constantly changing the angle of it. A little bit of the brighter green right down here towards my center of interest. A little bit up there. And then just soften. I'm going to do these these pots and this time I'm going to have the light direction coming from here. So I'm going to do some pots and I'm just going to run them right onto the, the shelf where they're sitting. In fact I'm going to just run them right over there. And again, I don't want this, I want this pot shape. There's eventually going to be a shadow there, so I'm just going to take it and kind of integrate it into what's going on around it. And I just want to darken the one side of the pots because that's away from the light. So I neutralize my red by adding the green. And I want this door to be a strong strong color note.
And actually what I'm going to do is take this shape, because this is going to be a real dark value in here, take it and run it through the entire opening. This gives me a chance to start defining some of these branches, or the, the, the leaves up there. That. In fact, I'm going to bring that right down. Don't want to have that too isolated. I'll bring some in there. Just because this is the center of interest areas. And I'm going to come in to define this windowsill a little bit more. I think what I'll do is address some of this uh, foreground here. I'm going to switch to my big bazooka. And what I want to do, because this is now dry, I'm going to just do a little bit of pre-wetting. And I'm going to try and go with the a bit of light on the top of these stairs. So I just want to get some more value down here. I'm going to start to bringing in, uh, move down the value scale again to bring in some uh, a darker value. Though I'm, I'm still not, I'm still nowhere near my darks. I'm still in the lightish range. I'm going to just mix this. And I want to have. Um, I'll come in and start defining some of these pots a little more. And then some of these, start defining some of these this stonework down here. And as much as possible I'm trying to unify shapes by having one shape run into the next one. A little bit of that stuff going on in there. And I'm going to just pure water here. Just soften some of these edges. I don't want it to stand out this much. This is still not a true dark. It's really a it's really a mid value. But I want to start defining this will both define the 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 red by putting this glass in. It'll define the red trim around it and it helps to define this leaf there. Now you can see how much that um, the light of the, uh, the bush up there stands out. There's also a fairly rich shadow here. But by this is, uh, I'm still really in the mid values. I like to do as much as I can before I let things dry. I'm going to take some darkers, or some darkers, some darker value, and just have it in sections around here. Pure ultramarine is really, it's a, it's a darker value, but it's a colorful darker value. Okay, now this is dry and I'm going to come in and uh, do this 
inside the doorway. And again, because I have at least two more washes to put in there, I don't want to go to the real darks yet. So this is a strong middle value. A little bit to the red side. And now I'm going to define. And again, I'm going to try and keep it a bit of a scalloped edge on the outside. And a fairly straight edge defining the edge of this door. And even this looks like I'm going to have too much contrast there, but I'm going to leave it for now. And now while I'm waiting for that to dry, in fact what I'll do, again a wet wash is always an opportunity to float in, put some other colors in there and they'll just really add to the interest level in there. That might be a little bit too...